Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do the only lab that we have to do for Unit 10. Now this is a test grade, so make sure that you pay attention and that you get all the data required so you can write your lab report. Now, let's get started. Let me show you what's going on here. All right, here we have red cabbage. I hope this isn't hot. Okay, it's not. Okay, so I boiled some red cabbage and some water to form a indicator. So what is an indicator? An indicator basically tells me if something is an acid or is it a base. And that's what we're going to be testing today. Here we have a multitude of different household items. And we're going to test, are they acids or are they bases? How do we do that? Well, let's follow along and find out. Here we have some of that indicator in test tubes. So let's first test our Dawn soap. Right now, the indicator is like a lavender purplish color. Let's see what happens whenever we add some soap. Oh, whoa. See how blue that is? All right. What does that tell you? Is it an acid or is it a base? Okay, let's check out the next one. We have bleach. Getting this all one-handed. Luckily I'm left-handed, so it works out. Okay. Couple drops. You see it's starting to change color. Whoa. Still changing. Sorry, bad focus. Focus, you piece of junk. There we go. Still stir, 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 stir. Interesting. What kind of yellowish? Yellowish to clear. Wonder what kind of thing that is. I'll let you take the guess. Now, next one. We have soda. HEP soda, because we cheat. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what soda is. We need a couple drops. Oh no! Oh no! It's everywhere. Okay, a little bit of soda. Hmm. Huh. Let's compare. You see how it's changed color? Went a more red tinge, kind of like a pink color. Okay. Next up, ammonia also known as NH3. See what color this one has. A good squirt there. Mm -hmm. Very blue-green color. Go on to the next one. We have vinegar. Also known as acetic acid. Or as I like to call it, chiku. It's chiku because that's the chemical formula and that's how it's spelled. Now, this is a special one. All right, turned it to the old color, turned pretty red. So what does that tell us about this? Now we have lemon, lemon. Let's test this, Let's give it a nice little drop. Let's 
Smells good. Stir it up. About the same color as vinegar. Do you see? Little red tinge. All right. Now we have two more. We have milk of magnesia. Okay. Then we have to go over here. Let me grab a couple more of these. Just got to store and grab. Okay. Oh. Become curdish curdles, but it's a very blue color, if you can tell. Lastly, we have Garnier Fructis. I don't know what that ad is like. Is that the best man can get? No. Totally different ad. Okay. Let's see how good my pouring skills are. Huh. I don't know if I made it. Let's do it again. Getting sudsy. I don't see any color change yet. Okay. Let's see if there's a chutner change. Interestingly. There really is no color change. Interesting. So what does that tell us about that substance? Maybe went a little red. Not much. I don't know. All right. Now that we have all our different substances, so let's review what order we did them in. So first we had Don Soap. The blue. Then we have bleach. The yellowish tinge. Kind of clear. Interesting. Then we had Sierra Mist or Twist. Kind of has a redder tinge. We have ammonia, which is kind of blue-green. Vinegar, which is a deep red. Lemon. Another deep red. Milk of magnesia. Blue green. And lastly, Garnier Fructis, which really went a little red, I would say. I would say it's going on the red tinge. Okay. With that, you have all the data that you need to complete your lab report. Now, your job is to take what we have learned today seeing those colors and determine are these substances acids or bases hopefully you guys know enough to do that all right i look forward to reading your lab reports have a good day